America Election News 2024 Trump's first criminal trial jury in New York City to maintain anonymity The judge presiding over the first-ever criminal trial of a sitting U.S. president has granted the request of the jurors to maintain their anonymity. On March 25, Donald Trump will go on trial in New York for allegedly leading a 2016 hush money cover-up. Mr. Trump has an established history of openly and repeatedly assaulting trial jurors and grand jurors, according to the judge's decision from Thursday. The president has called the investigation a apolitical witch hunt and has denied the allegations. Because there is a potential of bribery, jury tampering, or of bodily injury or harassment of jurors, the Manhattan Supreme Court Justice Juan Merchant justified the need to maintain the jurors' anonymity in his protection order. Allegedly, Mr. Trump hid his payments to adult film star Stormy Daniels as legal fees by falsifying company records. He is now facing 34 counts of fraud. An overview of Trump's hush money trial. According to Ms. Daniels, the then presidential candidate paid her $130,000, 103,000 pounds, in 2016 to keep quiet about their sexual encounter. There was never an affair, Mr. Trump said. The ex-president is facing four separate criminal charges. The judge's ruling makes the names public knowledge to the legal teams representing the two sides and any outside consultants retained by either party to aid in the jury selection process. The prosecution had requested the anonymity of the jurors, an unusual move that is typically reserved for high-profile cases or those involving violent criminal organizations like the Mafia. Possible trial duration is six weeks, this could hinder Mr. Trump's capacity to campaign for president in the months leading up to the November election. One of the most controversial and drawn-out parts of the trial is likely to be jury selection. New York law mandates a jury of 12, with the option of six alternates, for felony bench trials. Before the trial begins, the judge or prosecutor may ask the prospective jurors a variety of personal questions, such as whether they have ever displayed a political bumper sticker or where they obtain their news. Questions about their knowledge of Mr. Trump's books, their belief in the possibility of election fraud in 2020, and their exposure to testimony from Michael Cohen, the prosecution's star witness and a longtime fixer of Mr. Trump, may also be on the agenda. The judge hearing Trump's case is one merchant, who is he? In the hush money case involving Trump, who is the prosecutor? How much of the trial will Mr. Trump really attend in person is still up in the air. The defendant must be present on the first day, but the court has limited authority to approve his absence after that. The judge may grant Mr. Trump a partial waiver if he buys into the novel and unproven legal theory that a convicted felon must be out canvassing for votes to select the next president. Mr. Trump may decide to show up and use the case to further his campaign.